man, what's up, man? You are, this is what I do. I wake up in the morning, I look at my, I go straight to my uh, gambling site. After I scratch my balls. Right, see, I ain't took a shower, my hair nappy and shit. You know, I ain't got my goals or nothing, man. You know, ain't nothing that's fabricated. This is what I, this is what I do. I'm a sports fucking fanatic. And I like to put money on them. It makes it a little more interesting. But, you know, it's a little method to my madness, you know what I mean? Dirty house and shit. This shit will get clean later. Some some bitch gonna come over and clean this shit a little bit. But. He's a gambling addict. He's a gambling addict. He needs help. No. Nah, only help I need is if you got an inside tip on who the, whose girlfriend is the, the point guard or something. You feel me? That's the help I need. Shout out to G Funk and Vish. Y'all know what time it is. What's the weather in Connecticut? 22nd. Say the 22nd. February 22nd, 2009. And we got LA Lakers play a Minnesota Timberwolves. Score over 219. I'm putting a yard on it right now. Lakers and Minnesota Timberwolves. Combined score over 219 points. Check me, check me, check me. Y'all can holler at me on the 23rd, see if it happens, you know what I mean? See if I predict shit. That's all, it's a predicted. I do that football shit. I do that baseball shit. It's a hot out me speaking no English, you know, all that shit. I'm all on that. You look, look at my TV. Right now. One of the TV. Watching the Bulls and the Pacers. We don't fuck with hockey, come though. Come no hockey. You already said I'm watching the Bulls and the Pacers. I'm from West Virginia. I have no loyalty to these teams. I mean, the, the Bulls is all right. Pacers is up and coming. The average person wouldn't be watching this. The average sports for that, you feel me? I, as long as they run up and down that court, they run up and down that field, they throwing something, they catching something, they showing some type of athleticism, and they click numbers up on the side of the screen. I love that shit. <laughs> Love that shit, you know? And every now and then I make a little grip off that motherfucker too. But no fucking hockey, man. No, no hockey. No fucking hockey. No hockey. Sometimes golf and tennis only when Venus and Serena play. That's it. Hey, I bet on hockey too, man. I ain't gonna lie, I bet on hockey too. But it's because the numbers is kind of slow. What's the last hockey game you bet on? Last hockey game I bet on? Ah, oh, man. That's a tough call. He pulled my card. I'm not, my hockey shit ain't, you know what I mean? It's not up there like that. It's more like, there's a lot of numbers going on, you know what I mean? So if I'm looking on here. Take that part out. No, Crosby's a beast. Crosby's a beast. That's the dude Lemieux, you know what I mean? I put on anything, I put anything on that, on that nigga play. Whatever they know, minus three, you know what I'm saying? Goals minus three, minus two. I, I put Crosby on there. We we'll put a hundred on there. And there's, a, there's a, hey, you know, there's more niggas than that shit now too. Uh, come on, man. That hockey shit straight. I check you next year on that though. I do it all. NBA, college. What's, the other, what's the other picks you got today? You want to take another one? Picks, other picks. Uh, I like. Uh, Denver and Milwaukee, Denver minus four. I think that's a lot. I think you can make some money on that. Um, now, see, this is real, real, real shit coming to play, right? Detroit and Cleveland. Cleveland minus eight and a half. I'm a real Cleveland Cavs fan at heart. That's my team, you know, them and the New York Knicks. So, right now, I got to wonder am I thinking with my heart or am I thinking with my mind? My, you know? So, I want to tell you. Take that Cleveland minus eight and a half because they're going to beat Detroit by nine, especially at the crib. We, tw we like 28 and one at the crib this year. So I think that's a good bet. But because that is my favorite team, they say you might be a little biased. So I want, you know, that's just a little tidbit. I'm still betting on motherfuckers. Oh, uh, you know. It's like, it's 11, I mean, it's Sunday at like, time is it? 1 o'clock in the afternoon, you know, I've been up since 8, went to bed at 5 or something, you know what I mean, and 
this is a beautiful day for me. The sports on all days. That's the thing about the weekend, you know, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. It's like you wake up and they 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 balling from like noon to like one in the morning, the night. You know, all across the country, the world, whatever. So, from the spectator aspect, I get entertainment all day. All day. Only thing I'm missing is a little food, you know what I mean? A little drink, and it's coming. Like I said, I just woke up, looked at naps and shit, you know? I got my, I got my gym. Hold on, this is my, my everyday get up fit, you know what I'm saying? I'm an ex, I'm an ex hooper, you know what I mean? So I always got basketball shorts on and shit, feel comfortable, you know what I mean? And, you know, so that's a lot of space for my balls. Right. That helps too. So I hoski wowski. So I'm here and you know weekend gambling. That's that's my shit, man. If it was up to me, I would I would perform Monday through Thursday and Friday through Sunday would be straight sports entertainment and uh sports books. That's the perfect world for me. Unfortunately, most of y'all motherfuckers like to party on the weekend and we gotta do shows and shit. Gotta cut down.